Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. This is going to be kind of a, a troubleshooting video because I run into a problem and I want to show you the settings. Uh, because I run uh, PFSense in a, a virtual box manager and I connect to that server using Ubuntu. Um, but you need to create a virtual network as well, otherwise you can't connect. Somehow that setting was lost when I want to record a new video. So now for future purposes, I just want to show you guys the settings. So here we have PFSense running and we go here to settings and we go to network. And the thing that you need to do, you need to set adapter one to net network address translation. And you need to set adapter two to the internal network with the name internet or ENT net whatever name you're going to attach to it, but this is default. So that's for PFSense. So on the one side through net, it will get some WAN um, uh, IP address, uh, internet IP address, basically network IP address. And on adapter two, uh, you will get an internal uh, IP address. Uh, how does that look? Okay, so we will open up PFSense and here you see WAN and LAN. The WAN, white area network internet on adapter EM0 uh, through DHCP version 4 from IP. We got 10, 0, 2, 15, which is assigned on the WAN port. On the LAN port, and this is the important one if you want to connect to the interface, we get version 4 IP uh, 192.168.11. So this is the IP that you can connect to to the browser. So we set this setting up for this server, yes, and we need to do the same for the client. And I use Ubuntu for that as well. So we go to the settings, basically the same, but you just need to know that otherwise you can't connect it to net on adapter one and the internal network on adapter two. Um, why two adapters? Well, in this virtual box manager, you have one for the internet and one for the LAN, and you need to create a virtual um, yeah, local area network here. So without further ado, now we go to the uh, graphical user interface. We go to the client, we go open Ubuntu. And here you see, I just, just connected back to the um, web interface here on uh, 192.168.11. So this is, if you type that in, you first get an, uh, a warning because it's a self-signed certificate and you accept the risk and you continue. And then you open up um, PFSense, which is uh, admin. And then the uh, password default out of the box is uh, PFSense, admin PFSense. So welcome to PFSense software. Uh, this is the first thing you will see after installing it. Um, Global support is available. Uh, PFSense was acquired by NetGate. Next. Uh, you can give it a host name. Uh, you can put it on a domain, for instance, if you have a domain running. Uh, my home network, for instance, or uh, my business network, or the name of your company, the name of your cat, the name of your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. So you can set it all up here, but I'm going to keep it like that. DNS we talked about uh, before, uh, always make sure that this box is uh, ticked. So you can set a, a DNS server, Google's DNS or an open DNS server. Um, you can use a primary. So when uh, this is where, you know, all the requests will go to. And when this is down, you can uh, specify a secondary. So you have a backup. I'm not going to specify that here, but uh, look at my uh, how to set up your own DNS resolver video, the previous video, basically how to set up your own DNS resolver inside PFSense. Next time server, uh, the time zone that you're in. Next. If you want to uh, configure DHCP, which I also made a video about already on the WAN interface uh, or on the uh, or not, or static, or any other um, protocol, basically. Uh, various settings, DNS, host names. Uh, make sure that these two boxes are blocked as well. What else can I say here? So this is the configuring the WAN interface. 
again, you have two network ports on your PFSense box. Now I'm running inside virtual, uh, uh, virtual box. Um, but when you have a dedicated machine, you should have two network interface cards, one for the WAN, one for the LAN. Can't stress that enough. It's a router. So LAN interface, LAN IP, you see that here, it starts here uh, and you can specify the range. So this will go from one to 100, 150, depending on your needs. Next. Um, yeah, you can set an admin password. Keep it simple, P of sense. This is just my, my home network, uh, uh, my home lab. So it doesn't matter. Don't save. Reload. Reloading in process. Uh, and then uh, the wizard is changed. Uh, you can check for updates immediately, but it will also do that um, when it's connected to the internet. It will do it regularly. So after this, it will load the, uh, the dashboard and you will see um, what it is that we got. Okay, copyright and trademark notices, great. Thank you. So now we also set up, we properly set up um, PFSense inside VirtualBox. Also because it can show you here an update is available. If you look closely at my previous video, uh, it, it clearly said it wasn't connected to the internet. Now I set it up the right way. So I'm happy about that as well, just to show you. Um, so you have a WAN interface, a LAN interface, and they both seem to be up, which is good. Uh, you see the CPU that's in my uh, desktop, um, yes. And you see something of a CPU usage, uh, memory usage. It really depends on kind of uh, functions that you have uh, opened up. And in the next video, I'm going to talk you through uh, setting up a VPN because this is your server basically, and you can set up a VPN uh, from the one PFSense machine over the internet to another PFSense machine, uh, which kind of uh, acts as a gateway, a VPN gateway, uh, and you can uh, access files from maybe somebody in the family or another company over the internet uh, through your own virtual private network and encrypted tunnel over the internet, basically. So a quick video for me, I hope it was clear. Uh, how to set it up inside a virtual box, just to make sure that two virtual machines can talk to one, one, one of each other, because out of the box, it will not be possible. You have to create a virtual local area network, and you do that with setting NAT. Again, NAT here, network address translation on adapter one and on adapter two, the internal network. I hope this was useful for me. This is just a reminder how to set it up properly because I was really uh, thinking, why doesn't it work no more? And uh, now I set it up properly. Again, also my PFSense machine now has a WAN IP, which means it is connected to the internet. It can fetch updates and that's exactly what you want. Here you can see a message that uh, I was logged in from an IP address. See, I got the, the 102, so that's my Ubuntu machine. And this machine uh, is the gateway at 1.1. So hopefully that was clear and we hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.